Welcome to ONW Now. Today is Tuesday, November 20th. I'm Caitlin Larson alongside Chloe Cowart. In the 10 years that Olathe Northwest has been a high school, they've had 15 students go on to play Division I sports. Last week, Olathe Northwest added to that list. Last Thursday, five Raven athletes, coincidentally all girls, signed to play college sports. Three Lady Raven basketball players signed, including Kelsey Brooks with Arkansas University, Jayla Jackson, who signed with South Dakota University, and Michaela Crawl, who signed with Wisconsin University. Two softball players also signed, Lizzie Stover and Vashti Neal, who signed with Baker University and Prairie View A&M, respectively. With one season remaining at ONW for these varsity athletes, we wish them the best of luck this season and beyond. Good luck to Kelsey, Vashti, Mikey, Jayla, and Elizabeth as they finish out their careers at Olathe Northwest. Video games are played by many at Olathe Northwest. Recently, Halo 4 hit stores and it has many students excited to play the new game. What additions have you noticed to Halo 4? Uh, it's completely new classes. You got custom loadouts going on there. You got uh, perks and new guns. Halo 4 is the first installment of the new Halo trilogy that 343 Studios is producing. The game is set four years after the events of Halo 3 in the year 2557 and follows the Master Chief as he explores the Uncharted Shield world called Requiem. The game has a large fan base and brings together many friends who enjoy an epic journey full of aliens and heavy weaponry, battling it out for survival. The Halo franchise offers Halo Waypoint, which is a central hub for Halo related content. The hub is accessible through Xbox Live and from your mobile devices. So for anyone who wants to play a game with an amazing campaign story and an intense multiplayer, this is the game for you. Late Night in the Nest is right around the corner. On November 27th, Late Night festivities will take place in the gym from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. Admission is free, so come help us kick off winter sports with games, prizes, and free t-shirts to the first 100 entries. Papa Murphy's will be selling pizza for a dollar a slice, and all the proceeds will go to Project Graduation. The canned food drive recently ended at Olathe Northwest with the proceeds benefiting the Johnson County Christmas Bureau. Shelby Ostrom has more on the food drive. This week and last, Olathe Northwest Student Council has been collecting cans for families in need right here in Johnson County. Nick Stoffer, Stuco Vice President, is very excited for this fundraiser that lets ONW students help their community. The food drive here at ONW is basically one who let the students have an opportunity to be able to contribute to the needs of the community. Students have the opportunity to really contribute to people here in the Kansas City area. Another new thing that Stuco introduced this year for the food drive is the peanut butter jars and how they contribute to the community. Peanut butter is one of those food items that's important because it has a lot of nutrients. It's a little bit pricier, but peanut butter can be used in a lot of different things. Overall, this year's food drive was a success, collecting tons of cans for Johnson County. Thank you for your participation, Ravens. Reporting for ONW Now, I'm Shelby Ostrom. The Rose of Bowl is a joint effort between the pottery classes and the culinary classes to raise money for Miss Bussard. Reed Smith has more on this event. The pottery classes have been busy making over 400 bowls. So we talked to band director Mr. Starks to find out more about the bowls. The Rosa Bowl is a benefit for Mrs. Bassard. It's a chili supper, and uh, it's, we're going to have food and entertainment, and it's just going to be a fun night to try to raise money to help Rosa with her medical expenses. The Rosa Bowl is going to have lots of entertainment. We're going to have our jazz combo perform a lot of different uh, selections, and so uh, that's going to be really fun. They're going to play for about 30 minutes from 7 to 7.30. Uh, and we're also going to have groups from orchestra, choir, theater performing throughout the night, so it's going to be a really fun atmosphere. Mr. Barnes and some of his students have been making the bowls. Several of the students have pitched in as well, and together I think we've made somewhere around 400 and almost 50 bowls. We're really excited that our art department is making ceramic bowls, and every student that purchases a ticket for $20, not only are they going to get the chili made by our fax department, and uh, the dessert, but they're also going to get this nice ceramic bowl that they can take home. The food that we're going to have at the Rosa Bowl is going to be ha homemade chili, and then we're going to do apple, hot apple crisp with ice cream, and then of course the drink. 
Uh, they're going to be playing a variety of music. It's going to be my select ensemble, uh, which are the top nine students from my advanced orchestra, and they're going to be playing a variety of classical music like Handel's uh, Entrance to the Queen of Sheba and Bach's Brandenburg Concerto Number no. Three. And Rosa is a is a wonderful person, and and uh, you know we would we would do this again and again for someone like her. Band students are selling tickets for twenty dollars. Ticket sales end the twentieth. Come out and support a fellow Raven. That's it for ONW Now. For Caitlin Larson, I'm Chloe Cowart. Have a great, a great Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Ravens. Ravens.